Welcome to This Week in Sport and Human Rights. Today, we dive into some important news coming out of the IOC last month. Director General Christoph de Kepper provided an update and announced a series of commitments regarding the organization's human rights strategy and its implementation, and this came out of the IOC's recent session. To recap how we got here, in 2020, the IOC commissioned a report asking for recommendations on how it could implement respect for human rights, and they did so from the former UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, Prince Zaid Al Hussein, and Schiff's Rachel Davis. These recommendations were published in December of 2020. The IOC then formalized their commitment to human rights in the publication of their strategic plan, Agenda 2020 plus five, in March of last year. Since then, the IOC has established a formal human rights unit within its corporate structure, which is an excellent step forward. Which brings us to this recent announcement. In it, the IOC makes several important further commitments of which I'd like to highlight four. First, they affirmed their commitment to respect human rights in line with the UN guiding principles on business and human rights, known as the UNGPs. The UNGPs are the normative international standard and its principles outline an organization's responsibilities to respect human rights. This is a big deal and one that many actors across the global sports ecosystem have been wanting to see. Secondly, they committed to amending the Olympic Charter to better articulate their responsibility to respect human rights and to do so by 2023. That's also very significant, as in doing so, they will join only a few other sport governing bodies who have made a statutory commitment to respect human rights. Third, the IOC committed to human rights requirements for those bidding to become hosts of future Olympic Games, including the requirement of an independent risk assessment of the prospective host country candidates to identify areas of risk to be addressed and to do that prior to the official awarding as a host city. And finally, critical to these commitments is that the IOC further committed to developing robust due diligence processes across their activities, including meaningful engagement with stakeholders impacted by those activities or their representatives. This is also a very big step in the right direction and something that is becoming increasingly important in many industries. So what's next? Well, the IOC has set a time frame to finalize their human rights strategic framework and to do so by the end of this year, and then to amend the Olympic Charter in 2023. The global sport ecosystem will be looking forward to further updates on the progress of implementing these commitments. Embedding human rights into the ethos of the broader Olympic movement is a crucial step forward given the importance of the Olympic Games and the various sport development initiatives coordinated and supported by the IOC. The Center for Sport and Human Rights looks forward to supporting the entire Olympic movement on this important journey.